So what is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. Now one of the things that you guys have been asking me heavily about is dream rides. It's a thing that IAA does where they put a lot of exotic or high dollar dream rides um, into kind of like a little package. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go take a look at some of those dream rides and we're going to look through and see what some of them sell for and maybe there's one that fits what you're looking for. All right, so we are in here like swimwear, and this is kind of a bonus video for you guys today, not super long, <clears throat> but these are some of the vehicles that are currently available as Dream Rides at IAA. We got a Bentley Moose Lane with 28,000 miles on it. It's a 2016. Take a quick look at that and see what, uh, what the damage is. Huh. What is the damage? Salvage right front. Okay. Let's see if we can find it. I didn't see it. Did you see it? I sure didn't see the damage. Wait a minute. Right front. Huh. Unless that's it. I, I maybe it like scratched the fender or something. I'm not seeing it. Do you see it? Must be very minimal. You know, sometimes your insurance company, you can literally just break their balls like just I'm not taking it if it's messed up, blah, blah, blah. And they'll just accept that. I don't know why we have a 2014 CLS as a dream ride. I can understand the M550, though. Let's take a look at the M550. Current bid's 15 grand. Ooh, it's got my wheels. It's got my wheels. Looks a lot like. It's probably optioned very similar to my car. Yeah. With the front bolsters. That's clean, man. Oh, nope, that's very clean. Does it have the full screen? Nope, it's got the same light up stuff around. Twin turbo. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful car. For real, for real. That's pretty. Got a 1959 Ford Fairlane. Now that is interesting. Look at this. What a beautiful car. Let's see if we can get an HD view on some of these because we'll use one as uh, one of our thumbnails. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Oh, it's been painted. Yep. Yeah, it's it's very you're not ever it's gonna be rare that you find something like that that is uh absolutely stock or natural. You know what I'm saying? Grab that one, we'll make that our thumbnail later. Alrighty, get out of that. Go back a page. Oh, you're gonna make me go all the way back, huh? No. <sighs> Uh, I hate All right, we got it back in. So we got a 1973 MG, MGB. We got a 2014 Rolls Royce Wraith. Hmm. That's interesting. 1971 MGB. I think it's funny they got these MGs in the, in the, uh, dream rides. I mean, I guess it could be somebody's dream ride. Now, this is interesting. I mean, I'll look at the Firebird, but I want to see this Continental. Is this the one with the suicide doors? Yes. Yes, it is. Now, that is beautiful. It's not totally... I mean, it hasn't been restored, obviously. It's all original. That thing right there is beautiful. Let's get the HD view on this bad boy. Uh, 
right, let's zoom in a little bit on the uh, engine and whatnot. It looks good, man. Yeah, that one right there is very, very interesting to me. Super interested to me. Let's see if we can get a. I think I'm. I kind of like the other one as a as a thumbnail, but I don't know, man. This one right here is pretty damn clean. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Well, this is one of the things that I really do like, guys, about um, IAA is is the way that they. I don't want to say index, but yeah, the way they index these vehicles, right? This is not, I mean, the, the, the way that they do these cars are awesome. Look at this, a 05 Maybach. It's currently at 20 grand. It's got front end damage. Let's look at that. Yeah, it did hit something in the front for sure. I'd hate to see how much that uh that headlight is that broke. I bet you it's expensive, but the damage is not that extensive. I mean, let's look HD view. We'll view in, zoom in a little bit. All right, so definitely the headlight, right? I don't even know if you could repurpose that. You know, just put plastic back over it and be cheap and and fix it. I don't, I don't think so. But like the little dent there in the fender, I would get that metal works. I would respray that. I would sand this bumper. I would re I would just plastic repair. I would repair this bumper. Um, the grill. Ooh, I don't know if that's fixable. I'd probably just get an aftermarket one. The hood. I'd have that metal worked because that's not that serious. Like you could fix that. So I could totally see this thing being fixed for sure. And you could probably have this thing on the cheap. Think about it. This car was what? 300, 200 and something thousand, 250. Well, I think that's what these were when these, I mean, the newer ones are more now, but I'm talking about when this came out, I think it was what? 250, something like that. 250 grand for one of these. And you're getting it for probably 25 grand. Maybe when you fix everything, you're probably 30 grand into a Maybach. I mean, granted, it's not today's Maybach. This shit is still a Maybach. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, the purpose of today's video was just to show you that these kind of cars are available and it's kind of cool. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today's video. This was kind of like a bonus video um, I wanted to do for you guys. You guys have been asking me about it. So I got a couple of different comments about it about, hey, TK, can you explain to me what Dream Rides is? And basically, it's just kind of like a sorting thing where it kind of puts a lot of interesting vehicles or vehicles that may be considered dream rides you know for other people some people might like mg some people like c10 chevy pickups i'm a 1966 lincoln continental fan so it really just depends but anyways um let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about what you saw today if there was anything you thought was cool because the lincoln is actually here not far and i think i might go try to put hands on it um, I didn't know that we had an IAA here in Davenport, so I'm going to go take a look at it. But anyways, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And uh, you guys will get to see what the real purpose of me being here today is uh, here in a very near, soon, upcoming video. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I will catch you guys very soon on the next one.